morning guys i'm trying to get maverick to come up for nap it's 8 30 so yesterday i put him down at nine o'clock um but i'm hoping that i can put him down now and then he'll take another nap later mavi where is it is it under here did you drop it i don't have the fire running today even though it's so super cold outside because there's so much um like ash in there that has to be taken out you have to like let that completely go out that way rob can take it out and we can start fresh again because when it gets too high obviously you can't fit as much wood in because of the ash today we just have that off and then we just use the heat and you guys i took away the side table from here so now there's like a lot more space um and some people were saying all right i'll get you some cereal yum he loves the cereal you guys it's apples and cinnamon bunches this is actually really really good So some of you guys were talking about putting this chair in that corner and we tried it because that's where I originally wanted it. But the only reason it can't go there is I do really like this piece, but this ottoman is so big. Um, and if you put it right here, because this is a not a 90 degree angle and that sticks out because like the windows and stuff, um, it's too close to here. Like you don't have any room to get around. You'd have to like go around and that's like, I definitely don't want that. Um, but I did, that's where I originally thought it would go. Um, and the only reason I don't want it in front of the couch, some people mentioned it going in front of the couch, is because I love this window. We always have it open and the boys love going up to it and looking out of it. And it's super low to the ground. So you would see like half of our couch, like this is where our couch would come up. And I really don't want you to be able to like see in our house and see our couch, especially because we usually do have these blinds open, especially in the summer. And I don't want you to be able to see like that's what you see in our house. So if that makes sense, but a lot of you guys like the setup. I really do like it a lot and I'm glad um, that a lot of you guys liked it. Well, actually most of you liked it. I'm excited. I'm selling this. This will hopefully be gone soon. And the money that I get for that, I will use to get the wood for this behind here, like the sofa table. Eventually, I would like to do a matching like entertainment thing over on this side. And this be like my coffee bar, like the buffet I put in to the kitchen. I probably would redo it. I don't know if I'd paint it or eventually like, I am painting the kitchen. So even though it doesn't match in there right now, it eventually will go. I would like that to be like the coffee bar. Um, but that won't happen for a while because obviously you guys know that we're on a strict budget and if we weren't, I could just be like, okay, I want to get the wood for our sofa table or oh, I want blinds for downstairs really bad. Um, let's just go get them. But because we're on a strict budget, everything that we are doing, we don't have any credit cards. So every single thing is cash and our main priority is paying off our debt. So for the blinds downstairs, because they are pretty expensive, we are budgeting like $40 a month. So it'll take us like three months to get the blinds downstairs. I've waited five years. I can wait three more months, even though most people would be like, we need blinds, let's go get them. If you are doing this budget, like the Dave Ramsey budget, it just doesn't work like that. Um, you know, you want to get a lot of things, but priorities, yeah, you just can't. And it feels so good because we paid off one credit card last night and a huge chunk of another one, so the other one almost paid off. And we wouldn't be able to do that if we got blinds when we wanted to, got wood when we wanted to, just because um, we had the money and decided to do that instead of pay off our debt. So this is what we want and this is why this budget works um because you just you figure out your priorities and it feels so good to see such accomplishments that we've done already so i'm so excited today's the day that i'm so happy um that it's almost time to take back to school it's like being crazy today
I think not being outside is uh, a yeah. number on us, huh? Give it, don't throw it. Go sit down. Right now. That is what I'm talking about. Are you okay? You're okay. Say, not nice. It's okay. You're okay. All right. Was that nice? Was that nice? Yes or no? What do you think? No, it wasn't. Sit on the set for three minutes. Yeah, I took this side table away that I was talking about and I put it upstairs in our bedroom. And then I brought this out because we needed some energy burned. And you guys, it fits perfectly in here. I didn't know if it would fit or not. Um, it was. It looks crooked now because they were in it. But yeah, it still fits, thank God. Because I wanted it to be able to be used all the time up here with having to move a bunch of stuff. And I didn't have to push this back or anything. Um, I just had to move the table. While packing this school, I need to clean out the fridge. I'm gonna try to clean our stove with the baking soda cream that I used for the bathroom, which came out amazing. So I'm gonna do that. And then I also need to meal plan and do my grocery shopping online um, where I'm per like acting like I'm going to buy everything. But then I'm gonna go to the store. Oh, hold on. Your leg is stuck. But then I go to the store and buy everything there to save the $10 that it would cost me to shop, like have them shop for me. Um, so yeah, and then tomorrow I will do a grocery haul. So I will do a video separately for you guys for that. Yum. Yum, you, are you all done? I have chicken falling out. I have no idea what I'm gonna make tonight, but I'll figure that out later. The meal that I made yesterday was so good. Um, that wasn't an Instant Pot meal, it was just like, um, in the stove and on the stove top, but I did do the rice in the Insta Pot. Your timer's almost done, sit on the set please. We had the bouncer set up and it did not last too long. Um, Maverick is scared of it for some reason. Ew. What? He was afraid of it before, but he would still go in it. Now he's like, will not even go near it. What's in your book bag? Yes, please. Do do da, do do da, I do da, I do trains. You did the trains? Yeah. On the back it says, I play trains, and it's a picture of trains. Paxton is not a colorer. He does not like to color, never has, um, no matter how hard I try. We are going outside with the boys, bundling them up, even though it's cold. It's actually not that cold right now. And we're getting all the wood that we need and letting them get some fresh air because they haven't been outside in what feels like a while. Go ahead. What do you think? What's his room look like? It's a hotel in here. It's not a hotel in here. Go check my room. Oh, what? It was so funny. Paxton saw where I put the side table and the lamp, and he's like, "Oh, it's nice. It's like a hotel." <laughs> it's so funny. What I found? The things your kids say seriously crack you up sometimes. Oh. <laughs> Uh, it's like you were actually thinking that. It's so funny. It's like, oh, it's nice. It's like a hotel. <laughs> That's exactly the look I was going for. Hotel feel. I actually love Hi. hotels because they have like nothing in them. <laughs> oh my gosh. My pimple, you guys can like see. But Rob ran to Wawa and we have some money left on our Wawa card. So he's just getting, um... So he's gonna get me a sub, and then we're getting just like creamer, eggs, no not eggs, creamer, sugar, and bread, because we might have a snow day tomorrow, hopefully. I'm hoping it snows so Rob and Paxton can stay home. Need to make my grocery list either tonight or tomorrow, that way I can do a haul for you guys. We are me and Maggie's 
stay in here. Okay, you like this room? Yeah. You like it like a hotel? Yeah. Got a nice vibe, huh? You look good. Okay. So your Batman outfit? Oh my gosh. My mom got them a bunch of superhero costumes, like capes and different masks and stuff for Christmas. So they were so cute dressing up on Christmas. Let's put Mammy's on. Want to be Superman? Oh, you want a mask? Yeah, you do. Oh my goodness. Look, Mammy. Hi, Mama. Okay, I'm going to show Mammy. Hi. Hi. Who is that? Oh, go ahead. <gasps> Batman. Superman. <laughs> wow. Daddy. Hi. Do you have a surprise for me? Yeah. I'm Come Maddie. here, Dad. It's there, so. Oh my gosh, it's so funny. I saw something, Dad. Okay, come on. <laughs> Let's go. That's great. Wow, mommy, you lifted that all by yourself. You did. It was hard. See, mom, when there's a will, there's a way. I know. Looks great, though. Look what he said. What is it, Paxton? Um, cut out. Said, wow, it's nice. It's like a hotel. Wow. <laughs> Go. Side tables and everything. He was upset Back that on? his room wasn't yeah. like a hotel. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> They're superhero mobiles. <laughs> that, you're doing good, Paxton. Rob got us a sandwich from Wawa and they got it wrong on the order. It was everything that we wanted, but actually on the sandwich was not. It was supposed to be an Italian with olive oil, mayo, hot pepper, sweet peppers, tomatoes, lettuce, but it has um, spinach and cucumbers. There's hot peppers, but there's no regular lettuce. There's no um, sweet peppers and I don't know if there's any oil and vinegar and there's barely mayo and I was like usually I would be like ew like take everything off and just eat it with like the meat and the tomato and I was like no what someone created this maybe they got the order switched up or whatever so it might be good someone had to have liked it to order it um so I try it it's pretty good uh I just need a little bit of extra mayo on it but other than that it's pretty good I wanted to show you guys I used the baking soda cream cleanser on my stove. Before I left to drop Paxton off, I sprayed it with Mrs. Meyer's uh, multi-purpose spray to like loosen anything up. And then when I got back, I used that. And it looked so much better. It looked horrible. Obviously, there's still some like staining and stuff like that. I mean, it can only look so good. Um, but I did order a method degreaser. I'm hoping that that helps take out some of the stains and especially like on the glass um but it came out really good and then i used that upstairs in our bathtub and it worked so good i'll have to show you guys how darn clean it got i used the cream cleanser in here too and it worked so well in here i was like so shocked at how well it worked and then i used it here and i used those sponge cloths that i got to clean it instead of the paper towels 